Thank you very, very much. Gentlemen, my, my view is you couldn't have passionate debates in this room without the great work that the men and women of the intelligence community, community do to preserve our freedom. And I just want to start by saying we're very grateful for that. Director Brennan, in 2014, the CIA conducted an unauthorized search of Senate files, including the emails of Senate staff investigating the CIA's use of torture. The CIA Inspector General later stated that the search involved improper agency access to Senate files, and a review board that you appointed concluded that the search resulted in inappropriate access to the committee's work product. You initially denied that the search took place, but the reports of both your Inspector General and the review board show that uh, this denial was at odds with the facts. After the facts were publicly exposed, the CIA even wrote an apology letter that you did not send. Now, senior officials from the NSA, the FBI, and the Office of the Director of National Intelligence have all testified that it would be inappropriate for their agencies to secretly search Senate files without external authorization. But we still have not gotten an acknowledgment from you. So I think it would be important, I'd like to hear from you, I'd like to set the record straight that this would never happen again. Would you agree that the CIA's 2014 search of Senate files was improper? This is the annual threat assessment, is it not? Yes. Um, <clears throat> I think, Senator, as you well know, there were very unique circumstances associated with this whole affair. These were CIA computers at a CIA leased facility. It was a CIA network that was shared between Senate staffers conducting that investigation for your report, as well as CIA personnel. When it became quite obvious to CIA personnel that Senate staffers had unauthorized access to an internal draft document of CIA, there was an obligation on the part of CIA officers who had responsibility for the security of that network to investigate, to see what might have been the reason for that access that the Senate staffers had to that document. They conducted that investigation. I spoke to the chairman and vice chairman about it. I tried to make sure they understood exactly what the challenge was that we had. We conducted that investigation. I then subsequently referred the matter to the IG when the Senate leadership was concerned about the actions of CIA officers. I also subsequently convened an accountability board. And I think you, if you were to read those reports, and including the accountability board, it would you would see that it decide, determined that the actions of the CIA were reasonable, given the very unclear and unwritten or, or un, unspecific uh, understanding between the committee and CIA at the time, uh, in terms of Mr. what- Mr. Director, my, my, my time is short, but that's not what the Inspector General or I respectfully the disagree. Review board. I respectfully I'd disagree like, with you, I'd Senator. like to read the exact words. The exact words of the review board were, it resulted in inappropriate access to SSCI work product. And your inspector general reached the same conclusion. And so the question here is, is when you're talking about spying on a committee responsible for overseeing your agency, in my view, that undermines the very checks and balances that protect our democracy, and it's unacceptable in a free society, and your compatriots in all of the sister agencies agreed with that. Now, you disagree? Yes, I think you've mischaracterized both their comments as well as what's in those reports. And I apologize to the chairman and the vice chairman about the de minimis access and inappropriate access that CIA officers made to five emails or so of Senate staffers during that investigation. And I apologize to them for that very specific inappropriate action that was taken as part of a very reasonable investigative action. But do not say that we spied on Senate computers or your files. We did not do that. We were fulfilling our responsibilities. I read the exact words of the Inspector General and the exact words of the Review Board. You appointed the Review Board. They said nobody ought to be punished, but they said there was improper access. And my point is, in our system of government, we have responsibilities to do vigorous oversight. 
and we can't do vigorous oversight if there are improper procedures used to access our files. My time is up. Mr. And Senator, I would say, do you not agree that there was improper access that Senate staffers had to CIA internal deliberative documents? What I can was that not inappropriate, I, unauthorized? I can tell you, having talked at length to our staff, everything that we determined they did was appropriate, but I asked about CIA conduct and two reviews, the Inspector General and your review board said it was improper. Yes, and I'm uh, still awaiting the review that was done by the Senate uh, to take a look at what the staffer's actions were. Separation of powers between the executive and legislative branch of the Senator goes both ways. And as I said, I apologize to the chairman and the vice chairman for the very specific, inappropriate access that agency officers who were investigating this incident uh, made to those emails. Very limited, inappropriate actions. Overall, that investigation was done consistent with our obligations, consistent with the law, consistent with our responsibilities. And I do think that you're mischaracterizing the, the full tenor of the, the, both the Accountability Board and the Inspector General's report. Pretty hard to mischaracterize word-for-word word quotes. They I'll, use I'll, the word improper action. I'll, I'll exercise something here.